The data that uh, we have released with our report on artificial intelligence contains many, many, many valuable insights uh, and raises many profound questions. Amongst those, I think, is why is it that the United States and China are so far out in front of the rest of the world, judging by numbers of scientific publications and numbers of patent applications? That's obviously a very complex question, but it's fundamental to the formation of policy by other governments around the world who wish to be very much involved in the development of this new, and it would seem, you know, quite penetrating technology, artificial intelligence. Well, amongst the explanations, of course, there is strategy that's adopted. There is funds available in finance and investment, but let's not forget also data. One characteristic of both the United States and China is their access to huge data pools. Uh, in the case of China, it's a population of 1.2 uh, billion, 1.3 billion people. Uh, in the case of the United States, it's a population of some 400 million people, but also with the hegemony of English around the world and the internet and giants of the United States of America, access to the data of lots and lots of people around the world. And of course, artificial intelligence, what is it? It's uh, algorithms fed by data. When you compare that to other parts of the world, there are not uh, many other regions that can compete on this question of the size of data pool. Europe, I think, in this respect is, is um, limited by uh, what is otherwise considered to be a great, great advantage, namely linguistic and cultural diversity. But it means that there is not a homogenous data pool in the same way as there is for China or the United States of America. India, I think in the future we will see, has great possibilities in this regard because uh, with the new national health uh, scheme that's being rolled out uh, and with biometric data on a whole population of 1.3 billion people, plus a sophisticated capacity in IT, we will see, I think, India becoming increasingly a player as well in this area. But for the rest of the world, one of the big policy questions is, how do we have access to sufficient quantities of structured data that will feed the algorithms that are going to improve the performance of artificial intelligence?